click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about an introduction to space vector modulation. So friends, as we all discuss about what a PWM converter or what a PWM technique is, just to revise, a PWM technique is a technique where we can control any switching device so that we can vary the output voltage depending on the pulses. So it has got an on time and off time. We can increase the on time or decrease the off time and we can do vice versa so that output voltage can be controlled. Or through a PWM converter, we can allow the switching device to remain on as per our need and desire. So friends, here a space vector modulation is basically an algorithm used to control the PWM pulse. So this is called space vector modulation. And the second point would be, it creates an AC waveform that drive AC motor at various speed. Whenever an algorithm is created by space vector modulation, it can create a PWM signal that drives an AC motor and that can also drive three phase AC power motor as well. So the third point would be, it is most commonly used to drive three phase AC powered motors at varying speeds from DC using multiple class D amplifiers. So friends, here there's a small phasor diagram just to represent the space vector modulation. So if we consider a three phase AC converter, so V1, V2, V3, V4, V5 and V6 are the three switching voltages or are the voltages across the switches. So in case of a three phase AC converter, so we use six switches and all the voltages are apart from each other by a phase voltage of 60 degree each. So we have got V1 as zero, which is the reference vector. V2 is V vector angle 120 degree, V3 is in 60 degree, V4 is 240 degree, V5 is 300 degree and V6 is 80 degree. So all the vectors are called null vectors and so I'm controlling alpha in the x-axis and beta I'm representing in, along the y-axis. Now friends, what will be the output of all these voltages or what will be the final output? The final output which is the V out here you can clearly see will be the resultance of all null vectors. So here V out is the resultant of all the six null vectors. So the null vectors are respectively V1, V2, V3, V4, V5 and V6 and V out is the resultant. So friends, this is all about space vector modulation. So you have to remember one thing, in a space vector modulation, all the voltages are represented in terms of vectors and which are apart from each other by a phase angle of 60 degree and the resultant will be the output of the system. Thank you so much friends for watching this video. Please subscribe to Ikeda and stay tuned with Ikeda. Thank you so much.